Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the license plate light assembly on 2010 to 2015 Lexus RX350 and RX450H models. Start by removing these three covers uh, on the back of the hatch. So just use a trim tool and get in behind it. And pop it off. That's one. Two. And three, and then uh, unplug this connector here, squeeze the tab and pull the connector out. Remove the courtesy light and unplug the connector. And uh, these covers here, you don't have to remove them, but uh, if you do, you'll be able to reach behind there and grab the piece of trim as you're taking it out. So we'll make life a little bit easier for you. I'll take this one out and the one on the opposite side. You can see which way they're supposed to go back. So this says left hand and uh, the arrow points up. So it's gonna go on the left side in this direction. Take out these two covers here, small flat blade screwdriver and comes out. Now inside those two plastic covers, there are two 10 millimeter head bolts. Take those out. Now reach inside uh, these holes that you remove the covers from and you can start pulling the trim off. It's just held by some clips but it can be pretty stuck on sometimes. And there we go. Look over the rear hatch trim panel and just make sure that uh, all the clips are still in the panel. Sometimes they get stuck in the hatch. Uh, in that case, you'd want to remove them out of the hatch and uh, reinstall them. They just come out like this. Disconnect the back door opener switch. Squeeze the connector. Pull it out. Remove the four nuts. Uh, 10 millimeter nuts that they're holding the uh, uh, hatch trim on. find all the nuts that drop down somewhere. Now you have these uh, two plastic clips right there that are still holding it on. So we'll need to squeeze them with pliers and uh, pushing them a bit to get them to come out.
Oh, that one's moving. And that one's moving as well. And now this trim piece can come off. So remove the license plate light assembly, unplug the connector by squeezing the tab and pulling it out. And then uh, you have this little hook right here that you can press on with a, with a trim tool or just with your finger. And uh, now you can remove the license plate light. I'll lift up on it and just uh, wiggle it out of the way. Here it is. Uh, reinstalled by, uh, see there's a little tab on the side there, so that's gonna need to engage with the body of the vehicle with a hatch. And then we're gonna press on it to pop it back in. Now reconnect the connector until it clicks. Reinstall the trim by lining up the studs and, and then uh, press on it to engage those two plastic clips. Reinstall the four 10 millimeter nuts that hold that uh, trim piece in place. And uh, gently tighten them to four foot pounds. Reconnect the connector for the power back door switch. Reinstall the hatch trim cover by lining up all the clips. Uh, get this uh, wire here for the light through the hole first. So you can access it later. Now push and gauge all the clips so just go around, hold the hatch while pressing on the cover and make sure all the clips are engaged. There we go. This way you're not gonna have any rattling noises from there. Reinstall the little bolt that goes in here. Tighten it to four foot pounds. <clears throat> then reinstall the light assembly. Clip it in, insert, and click from this side. And then the right side uh, trim cover, so with the up arrow pointing up. And uh, this little cover, it's marked right hand. Clip, 10 mil bolt in here. Now 
the left hand cover and then this trim cover right here. Now we install the back door closer switch, plug the connector in, gauge all the clips, install the latch motor cover, make sure it's on properly and tight. And then you just have this little trim piece. So insert these claws, claws uh, bottom first, and then pop it in. And there you go. License plate light housing replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.